Now to a story you'll see only on two. A man who claims debris is raining from the sky, landing in his yard. Where it came from remains a mystery. One clue, though, he lives in a neighborhood near an airport. Tonight, that man is speaking exclusively with Channel 2's Jacob Rascone. He's live now with the story. Jacob? Yeah, Lauren and Bill, the man says this has never happened before, but the family was out cleaning the yard one minute. They all went inside, and then the next minute, they said the mystery metal was just there. Now they've ruled out every possibility, the family says, except one. We had the big piece in the pool, and then we had the small piece right over here. The heavy, rusty pieces of metal just appeared, James says, out of nowhere. And hey, look. There's some more. The family made sure the pool was spotless Saturday afternoon so that the grandkids could swim. And he cleaned, especially on this spot, and it wasn't there. It wasn't until he went inside to get the kids. Then, poof, at the bottom of the pool, a foot-long piece of what, exactly? That would still be a one in a million shot. Nobody threw it, the family determined, and it couldn't have fallen from the roof. But what about the sky? Oh yeah, we see planes all the time. They fly overhead. Hooks Airport in spring, only several miles away, didn't respond to our request for comment on the mystery metal. And as Sherlock Holmes says it, when you've eliminated all that's possible, whatever's left must be the truth. James Smith is convinced, and also relieved, that wherever it came from, nobody got hurt. Uh, we were worried about the kids, you know. An experienced airport worker who saw the mystery metal tells us it's impossible to tell for sure whether or not that piece of metal came from an aircraft. We're live tonight, Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News.